Hi everyone, welcome to my next video. Uh, this one is going to be on the NVIDIA Shield. Uh, now that's a device I've had for quite a few years now. Um, I'm hoping to make a couple of a couple of sort of hints and tips videos uh, on this one. Uh, like I said, I've had it for, for a while. I mainly use it for um, using Plex uh, to watch home uh, my home collection of, of movies and uh, TV shows, and music, etc. I mean, Plex is obviously is, if you don't know it, it's a great little media center, media server type. So I pap, um, but I'll hopefully do some videos on that at some point in the future. But for now, uh, this is mainly it's around the shield. The other thing I use it for is is gaming, uh, mainly retro gaming. Uh, and so this this little little fix, little tip, uh, is actually to help if you've got uh, some stick drift on your controllers, which seems to be quite common with the with the standard shield controllers. Um, I've got a uh, two of them. Obviously, they're, they're a little old now. I don't use them that much, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, the sticks do drift quite badly. So. Um, there's an option um, that you can enable to actually counteract that uh, with software that's built into the shield. So, yeah, so this is going to take you through how to enable it. Um, um, that's pretty much it. So, without further ado, let's get started. What we need to do is go into settings. Okay, so from here we're going to scroll down and go to device preferences and then into about. First, we need to do is enable developer options. So, if you've already got uh, that's enabled, ignore this stage, um, which I have. You basically go down to the, the build number here, click on this seven times, and then that pop-up message at the bottom there, uh, rather than what I've got, we will say developer options enabled. Once you reach that point, just hit back, uh, and then you just scroll down this list, right at the bottom, you should now see developer options. Um, obviously make sure it's turned on. And then here's a whole bunch of settings, uh, lets you kind of tweak bits and pieces, turn things on and off, um, it's basically meant for developers, but obviously, um, you know, we can use it as well. Um, so yeah, obviously, just be careful in here. Changing stuff, you could break stuff, but if you know, if you ever play about, you feel confident, go for it. But all we're going to do is scroll right down to the bottom uh, till we get to the to the input section. A few interesting ones in here, but the, this is all we're after. So show controller drift protection option. So this doesn't actually turn you know the, the feature on itself; it just makes it visible. So basically turn this on, uh, then we drop back a level and then back again. Now we'll go to our remotes and accessories, then the shield accessories. And you can see here I've got the, the normal remote uh, connected and a game controller. Go to the game controller and then you've got this option. So the, uh, the uh, left and right stick drift compensation. So basically it does what it says on the tin. Um, I think what it basically does with William software, if it detects a very slight continuous movement on the stick, it'll basically ignore it. It'll, it'll presume it's, it's stick drift and ignore it for and hopefully fix it. I've used it mine, it works really well. There's a note there saying disable if your sticks become unresponsive afterwards, so I guess in some cases that, that might happen, but for me it worked really well. So yeah, if you've got stick drift, give it a try and hopefully it will fix it. And yeah, um, if, if you have success, put, put something in the comments, let people know. If you haven't, obviously say the same. So yeah, that was it. Nice, quick, easy one. Um, Hopefully, like I say, there'll be a few more tips and tricks coming for the shield because I've had it for a few years now. I've kind of used it quite a lot. Um, the other thing to note on this one, um, I'm, I'm running the very latest version of the software, so I haven't noticed this option before. So it may be that it's only available in the very latest versions of the of the shield software. So make sure you've got the latest version running. Um, and yeah, give us your comments. Um, please like the video. Please subscribe. Are you notified of any when the new videos come out. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Hope, hope it was useful. And I'll catch you on the next one.